What's up everybody kid and right here. See so ya. Yeah, Huawei recently announced the Huawei's Mate 40 series of smartphone. The smartphone went really popular inside of China because it was first smartphone to feature a 5nm chipset which was no doubt really fast. And if you remember, right after the release of the Huawei Mate 40 series, we got a new report which says that the Huawei Mate 40 will be the last Huawei phone to feature the Karen 9000 chipset. Because Huawei don't have enough chipsets due to US restrictions on them, like they can't even produce more chipsets. But now, that rumor turns out to be fake. And even we got a surprising new information about the new chipset. So with that being said, first up, the Mate 40 will not be the last Huawei phone to use the Karen 9000 chipset because sources are now confident that this is not the case. The Huawei P50 phones are also expected to feature the Karen 9000 chipset and honestly, I was not expecting that but it turns out to be a real thing. The Huawei P50 will have the Karen 9000 chipset and you know what is even more surprising thing? Rodent, a well-known Huawei leakster claims that Huawei's next generation Karen chipset is called the Karen 9010 and it's 3nm which is quite surprising considering the fact that few months back Huawei was not able to even properly sell its Mate 40 line due to shortage and now Leakster having a really good track record is saying that it's now working on a new chipset which is 3nm chipset and honestly if Huawei succeeds Qualcomm and Samsung could also switch to a 3nm processor before the end of the year. Apple is also expected to prepare a 3nm processor that will be manufactured by TSMC but it will not appear until 2022. So Huawei will again be the first company to launch a 3nm chipset which will be insanely fast. And yeah, Huawei is still secretly working on current chipsets. Well, on leaks recently showcased our first look at to the Huawei's P50 Pro. Yes, this is our really early look at to the Huawei P50 Pro and according to him, the P50 Pro will be a compact smartphone, only 6.6 .6 inches. Other than that, if we look at the design, the left and right sides of the display still have a curved screen, there are hardware buttons on the sides too and P50 Pro's display will have Two other notable changes though. First up, the wide dual selfie camera punch hole will be replaced with a smaller single camera which is placed in the center. Second, there will be a traditional airpiece, replacing the airpiece that was introduced with the Huawei P30 Pro. Also this is very really early CAD based render, so take it with a pinch of salt until we get some better one. So yeah, what do you think about it? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments down below and if you somehow like this video, a sub to the channel will definitely make my day. So as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye -bye.